hey, Exploration 8, I'm at an old abandoned gas station that was right by the interstate, so you could call this a roadside find, and I don't have any idea of what it was exactly, what brand of gas or anything like that. It's an old station, so let's go take a look. Now this is the main area where you came in. And this building's been here a long time. An old modular plug-in for a telephone, a wireline phone. And that was the next step after the direct wire wireline phones where the phone wired straight into the box on the wall. Color banners up here all along the ceiling. And if I don't find anything here about what brand of gas it was or what the name of the station was or anything like that, then I will try and look it up and put it in the description below. Now this is something that you don't see anymore. This is a repair bay right here and here's what's left of the sliding door. It's rotted and came down although it may have had a little help. And this is something you definitely don't see anymore. This lift right here has a center support that goes down into the ground and lift it up from there. The lifts as they have now have uh, posts on all four corners and are electrically operated. And there should be something around here that operated it. It would just be a, a handle on the wall and I'm not seeing where it was right there is where it was as you can see the words down and up right here this is where it was it's been taken off but tell um, me how to handle and to raise it up and then put it back down in the ground put the car back down If I don't trip over all the litter and trash here. Let's see if we can read that. It's not really coming off. It'd be nice to have a date on that. Now these were a little bit later. I'm guessing in the 70s, because the ones prior to that just had two tracks with ramps on the end of them, and of course the uh, support that went down into the ground in the middle. These were later. These were movable, so you could adjust them to the size of the car. And I believe those came out, if I remember right, maybe in the early 70s, something like that. here as you can see this has been deteriorating for a long time All right, step in here and this was probably the mechanics office I remember years ago the there would be signs out by the road that would say mechanic on duty in front of gas stations. And this is probably where they kept some parts and there may have been a sink in here. There's a pipe running around 
here. So not sure what that was, but uh, this was no doubt the mechanic's office. Well, I want to take a look behind the door just out of curiosity. Okay. You never leave any stone unturned, as they say. You can see here where the cinder block is separating. Now that could have been from an earth tremor or a small earthquake. I've seen that happen to cinder block buildings after one small earthquake. The cinder block separates like that. Okay, my camera battery died, so I had to swap, back, swap batteries, and that's not anything but me running into that twice. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I have to watch it, and I also have to watch where I step, because I did not wear footwear worth anything. As you can see, I've been wading weeds out here, so I'm going to have to clean some of that off before I leave here. But this is more suited to having boots and a serpentine belt right there, so I don't know if that would be an indicator of how long this has been closed or not, but serpentine belts came out a long time ago, so it could, have, it could be one of the parts they have on hand here. Alright, here is a door, so let's give this a try, see what's on the other side of this. Oh, goodness sakes, these are the, were the bathrooms. And this is definitely against my better judgment. Just hope there are no like, real big nails or anything in here. Oh boy, yeah, commode check. And the sinks. Eat these bubblegum ice cream. I wish you could find something that would indicate something about the station and the store itself. And it looks like a copper thieves tried to take some of the copper wiring out of here. in a little better shape. Critters in here. And another commode check. Thoroughly gross. Right, well, I didn't stick any nails in my foot, so... That was a good thing. Let's take a look at the outside now, since we started inside on this one. There's an old ice machine. And uh, they left it locked up. <laughs> About figures. Somebody apparently pulled that open. I wonder what they expected to be in here. Ice? <laughs> Nothing surprises me anymore. But that old ice machine's been around a day or two. I wonder if there is a date on this. Sometimes there is. Uh, you have to take that cover off in order to get to it. Young blood. Don't know if that was who owned the station here or owned the machine or what. Don't know what that is. And of course the pumps are gone. As you can see, the awning here has mostly collapsed.
shot of it there. Let me try to shield the, yeah, there we go. I shield the camera from the sun. Keep it from flaring in the lens so you can see it better. Now for the time and day, they had a fair number of pumps because usually places this small only had one island and that was it. And they had two. So this was, this was pretty good size for the time and day. And there you can see the roof that's caved in. And these would be considered almost no lighting at all. But those fluorescent lights was what we had back in the day. And it was more than sufficient. Because that's what we were used to. Now they've got LED lights that uh, can light up a hundred times brighter than those. And if I don't trip over anything else, No smoking, no phone, no pool, no pets, and you know what? I ain't got no cigarettes. There's a few of you that might get that. <laughs> I never smoke, so I don't want any cigarettes. Well, that's it for the old abandoned gas station. Thank you so much for coming along. Be sure and like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will see you in the next video.